Ryan uh, said, don't be too nervous. I know you've never done one of these, but uh, I guess I really haven't done one of these, per se. But uh, to, to Joe's point, I, you know, I'm very pleased uh, to accept this role as a special advisor. And uh, not just to Joe, but to the UT family across the state. Uh, I hope to be a good resource uh, for years to come for the duties and projects that the president thinks you know, I can help with. I've spent most of my adult life serving UT in a great state, and uh, this part-time position allows me to continue to do that, uh, but it also allows me to continue to enjoy my family and the other projects that I've started uh, uh, since I've left coaching. So I spent more than a year, as Joe said, with the President's Council, traveling the state and region, and I thoroughly enjoyed my interaction with him and key alumni and others directly and indirectly connected to our great university. Uh, with my many years as a football coach and all the places that my travels took me, there are many great friends and fellow alumni that I look forward to seeing and reconnecting uh, with in the very near future. Uh, my message will be we all must continue to come together for the greater good of our university our system and our athletics program. And in thinking through this position, I talked to as many people as I could. Number one, of course, my family, who always supports me. I talked to many former players and several of my former coaches, close friends, past and present trustees. I talked for a long time with Coach Dickey. I actually went down and, and I played golf with him, who was incredible as my athletic director and helpful in this decision as well. I also spent time with Coach Battle, Marcy Slocum, and Steve Spurrier, who have similar positions at their respective schools. Everyone was supportive and encouraging and said it was a natural progression for good and for the good of all concerned. And it is time that we come together. 